Morning. I'm here at Burton Constable Top Lake again. Today, following the, the advice of the uh, the bailiff dude who comes and checks your tickets, I'm down here at the side of the bridge. Apparently, in winter, the pike chase the uh, the silvers down this end because it's very unique that this lake and this lake are linked by a weir and when this gets too full the water goes into the, the bottom lake I think that used to be called the boating lake I'm not sure right I've sort of managed to to squeeze in here not a lot of room I've got about six foot between the bushes I'm gonna get three rods out all on float and I'll be trying mackerel which I've never had a bite on. I don't think I have anyway. I've never caught a fish on. I'm gonna try blueies, uh, I've brought sardines, smelts, um, some little sort of three inch roach. And I've brought some eel sections. I know it's hard to hook up on them, but they stay on forever, don't they? Right, I'll get the rods out and get set up and I'll get back to you soon. Got a, like I said, a, a good mixture today. I'm gonna try mackerel, even though I've never had a fish on it, on tons of different waters. Take the tail off because it just tidies it up a bit, I think. Um, I'm just go with this one. And I do like to just get it in in the back of the tail. This one, I'm going to drop down the inside. There's a, a small weed bed. I'm going to just go past it. I'm on the alarms today as well. Um, just to, if I'm daydreaming or staring at birds all right that's going down the inside there and like I said I'm gonna put them on the alarms because it it helps me Then the alarms are on, it's very low, and nobody else on the lake, so I'm not going to disturb them at all. Right, um, I think on this one, I will put a bluey, and that's going to go out sort of in the middle, dead in line with that, that boy over there. Um, I'm going to put a bluey half on, not a hoe. I very rarely use hoe, hoe fish. Because <laughs> I've found that all the better fish I've caught, my, like my 24 pounder, have been on really small baits. Like half a sardine or... And all the, the 11, 12s and 13 pounders we've had out of drain have all been on half sardines right. oh well not quite where I wanted the wind took that but that's all right because then it leaves me a bit of room for the left to uh, get a bait over towards the bridge somewhere Right, and on the next one, it's going to be one of these little, little roach. I think they're absolutely brilliant. I bought them as, as perch bait, and all I've had on them is, is bait. I've done well on these at, at Brands Burton, and I mean, they're only, what, 
two or two and a half inch at most but they work and on this one I've only got a small hook it's a size 8 circle hook I'm gonna hook it through its head and then if I can I mean you, you can see the rig it, it's a really really easy setup I've got a sliding knot about two and a half foot above the float got the float a couple of little these are actually uh, them thingy weights what you use is it on a Carolina rig onto a little quick change swivel trace couldn't be anything more easy than that all right let's see if I can get around this bloody tree and the wind's coming literally straight at me which is making it a little bit harder but oh that's not too bad oh I'll take that all day long take that all day long right the baits are in it's a quarter to eight so that's not bad up uh, I was here at 20 past seven so that's not bad rods out it's all set up ready for a coffee 20 25 minutes I, I can live with that I've already had a, a load of long tail tits visit me in this little tree didn't have any maggots with me today unfortunately right I'll get back to you soon right it's time I've got all the cameras set up I'm happy where I've been let's get some of these little twigs out of the way and then uh, time to have a coffee I think Next time I come, I think I'll bring a little saw and just clear up some of the branches down the edge. They are. Like I said, the bridge here, the water, when it rises in this lake, it overflows. Let's go and have a look. See if we can see how. It's uh, an absolutely huge estate. And the house itself is way over there in the distance and uh, this is a, a walk you can walk up to the house there's sheep and god knows what here oh, this looks lovely doesn't it idea what's banking what isn't it seems solid enough we can soon find out if I, I disappear you can see we got the bridge there it's overflowing in the two middle ones and again this is a, a big lake that wind's getting up a bit now. Lots of tufted, tufted ducks there. My lads, Canadian geese. Uh, four swans. Oh, there's lots of swans down the bottom. And this is getting done this year, hopefully. Put some new pegs in. Clear out the swims, etc. Looks like we might have that bit of action on the on the little sprat. I was uh, just trying to sort the other camera out. Oh dear! Uh, 
Let's see if it comes back. Right. That's running off the uh, external battery. These batteries are rubbish. The GoPro 9 in general, not very good at all. The battery's been on an hour, if that, and it's already flat, fully charged. Well, I better check it and I see if it's still on. Oh. If the bait's still on, I mean. Oh, yeah, oh, there's a bit of weed there. bit of weed on it oh, I can't believe I, I missed that because I was messing around with the camera sods law to come back recording again right time get me coffee I bought a coffee I haven't had a chance to drink it yet and don't forget guys hit that like button subscribe leave a comment it all helps the channel YouTube looks and thinks all oh, that guy's doing great let's uh, let's help him out I'm up to 470 something subs, let's get to 500 and then a thousand. Without your help, I wouldn't be doing this. So all I can say is thank you. It gets me out of bed in the morning, gives me something to do, I absolutely love it. I love the uh, filming side of it as well, just not very good at it. <laughs> right guys, I'll be back if there's anything happening. I've got a good selection with me today. I've got mackerel halves. I've got blueies, which are nice and bloody. Some little roach. And they are diddy like two inch, but I've caught plenty on them. Smelt. Sprats. Uh, little golden trout. Eel sections I haven't used yet. 
and then I've got a couple of packs of sardine so I've got plenty to go at um, I've had uh, I've had a take on a roach a sprat and a bluey so obviously I've gone on to a smelt a trout and I've stayed on a bluey just ring the changes because on here smelt has done well never had a bite and touch on trout but it's a bloody fish lots of goo coming out of it so This is on the uh, the bluey. Now I've got to try and get it get it in so I can land it. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Not massive, but. Come on. Ah. Oh. Oh God, the amount of sticks in that in this lot. Oh. And load of branches in god knows what oh it's wrapped around I've got to be careful with this i don't want to hurt it obviously right, calm down calm down whoop i'm gonna get my hand under oh just <laughs> lovely <sighs> get on out of the way not huge but it's a fish I'll give myself two pound on that one oh. brilliant let's rest him for a, a short while let's rest him for a short while oh he's ready to go straight away so many branches in the water it's very hard um, there you go well, oh and that was on the bluey they've had a bite on the bluey well I've managed to bite on bluey so let's go back out with the bluey it's got lots of blood in it
a lovely bite as well started beeping and then just kept going oh. let's hope some more come back